What's good guys, it's your girl Justina and you are locked into the Pi Radio Weekly Rundown. Firstly, it's now official that rapper Tory Lanez has been charged for the shooting of female rapper Megan Thee Stallion. The two charges include possession of an unlicensed firearm, which was also loaded, and assault with a deadly weapon. And if he is found guilty, he'll be looking at a maximum of 22 years in prison. On the 20th of October, Tory Lanez did go live on Instagram at about 8.30pm Pacific time, and he spent about an hour on live denying the claims. Rapper Put Our Paper's album has come number three in the UK album charts, which directly followed D Block Europe's Blueprint album, which is number two. Additionally, in the world of music, rapper Heady One has recently teased the release of the deluxe album of his number one album, Edna. As of now, we still don't know who's going to be on the album, so it is still a world of guests. So why don't you guys comment down below on who you want to see on the deluxe album? Lastly, in the world of music, if you guys are pretty up to date on social media, you would know that there's a recent feud going on with rapper Chip and Stormzy. As of now, we're still waiting for a response of Stormzy, but do you guys think Stormzy should respond, or do you guys think that silence is the best way to respond to something like that? A silent holocaust is going on right now in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and up to 48 women are being raped every single hour. And it's been confirmed 6 million people have now been killed, half of them only being children. The reason why this is happening right now is because people are being forced into modern day slavery. People are being held captive and tortured by the government so that they can work in harsh conditions just to make ends meet. The recent protests in the Democratic Republic of Congo has now caused the closures of learning environments such as schools, colleges and universities. The reason why people are finally standing up for this is because they're not happy about how they're being treated by the government and also how they're being treated by people who want resources from their country. The people of the Democratic Republic of Congo are now fighting for a change for the younger generation to come. Once again, if you do want to help the movement, all you need to do is go onto social media, go onto Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and let the movement be known. Use your voice. In other news, the recent killing of drill rapper T Rose has basically started an outrage on social media and is bringing up the question again, does drill music promote violence? What do you think? Comment down in the section below and let us know. On Tuesday night, Manchester United played PSG in the UEFA Champions League and they won 2-1. However, it has sparked a lot of outrage on social media because if you do know, the only reason that PSG scored one was because Anthony Martial, a Manchester United football player, scored an own goal. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they would have got one at least without Martial's help? Finally, for some local news, Manchester is going into a tier 3 lockdown as of early Friday morning. The reason for this is because rates of coronavirus are still rising in the country, especially in Manchester. What this means is that some businesses are being forced to close down, such as gyms, pubs and also bars. And there's also businesses that have been placed restrictions on and they're being forced to close at 10 and minimise the amount of people in the room at once. In the meantime, just make sure you stay safe, wear your masks and wash your hands as frequently as possible. What do you guys think? Do you think the whole lockdown thing is going to go on to the end of the year or do we think that we're going to have a Christmas this year? Once again, I've been your girl Eustina and you've been locked into the weekly rundown here at Pi Radio. Join me again next week for some more news.